Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we are on the last lesson of Module 4, which is Lesson 16. And today we're going to talk about different kinds of quadrilaterals. We're going to construct them and analyze them, figure out everything we can about quadrilaterals. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework. Let's take a look in particular at problem number one. It asks us the following. Construct a quadrilateral with only one set of parallel sides. Huh. Only one set of parallel sides. And we're going to do that here uh, in our, on our graph paper. So one set of parallel sides. Well, so if we started off and we made something like this, right? We made the, that set of parallel sides. If we made the endpoints of that, um, of that shape at the same point, right? If, if this one is just above this one and this one is just above this one, well, then we're going to make a rectangle, and that's going to have these sides are going to be parallel too. So I think what we need to do is we need to just extend it, right? We can just extend our, our shape out a little ways. And then if we connect the end of that line segment and the end of this line segment, we'll have this side parallel to this side, right? But the other two sides, this one and this one, are clearly not parallel. So let's see, would that be right? Construct a quadrilateral. So does it have four sides? One, two, three, four. Yep. With only one set of parallel sides. One set of parallel sides. Wow, let's see. So is this a parallelogram, a trapezoid, a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus? Let's think this through and rule out some of these. Let's see, a parallelogram. Well, a parallelogram has both opposite sides that are parallel, and ours specifically isn't, so that's out. Let's see, a uh, trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So that looks about right. That looks like it's going to do it. Let's check our other ones just to make sure. Is this a rectangle? Well, no, because we see some right angles here, right, and this side. But this is not a right angle. That's not a right angle. These aren't the same lengths. No, definitely not a rectangle. Let's check that out. Is it a square? <coughs> no, <coughs> no. And finally, is it a rhombus? Oh, well, rhombus is a specific kind of parallelogram, right, where the sides are all equal. We already know it's not even a parallelogram, so rhombus out, and we know the sides aren't the same. So I think we're right that we've created a trapezoid here. Bing, bing, bing. That's our answer for number one. Awesome. Your diagram may look a little bit different if you've got a sign number one in your homework problem. Let's take a look at another problem. Now we've got the triangle graph paper on for number four, and we are asked to do the following. Construct a quadrilateral with all sides of equal length. What shape did you create? A quadrilateral with all sides of equal length. Huh, okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to grab my red pen this time. And I like the triangle paper because you get to do these funky angles. But see, I want to do one that is three units long here. Let's see, where else could I take this? I guess I could take this down here, maybe three units. Kind of sloppy. Take it over three units over this way and three units over this way, right? Because all sides are of equal length. Let's see, do we meet all our criteria here? It is a quadrilateral. Let's see, one, two, three, four sides. Yep, with all sides of equal length. Well, let's see, one, two, three units, one, two, three units, one, two, three units, one, two, three units. What shape did you create? Well, we could think about it like, our, uh, like on our previous page, right? Is this a rectangle? Well, a rectangle would have uh, four 90-degree angles, and we don't see any 90-degree angles here, so that's out. Um, is this a square? Well, again, we don't have any right angles, so a square is, is out. Is this a parallelogram? <laughs> oh, boy. My writing is getting terrible. Let's pretend that says parallelogram. Is this parallelogram? Are both of the sides equal? Or, I'm sorry, are both of the sides parallel to each other, the opposite sides? Yeah, they actually are. So it is a parallelogram. Let's see, is it a trapezoid? Trapezoid. Is it a trapezoid? Well, a trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides, and this one has two pairs of parallel sides. Actually, I'm going to mark those. Let's see, that's parallel to that, and this is parallel to this. So it's not a trapezoid because it has too many uh, opposite pairs equal. And so the last question is, is this a rhombus? Is this a rhombus? Well, what is a rhombus? A rhombus is a special kind of parallelogram. Okay, good. We're so far so good, right? We know it's a parallelogram, where all of the sides are of equal length. And in fact, 
that's true in ours, right? Three units, three units, three units, three units. So we actually have a rhombus. And a rhombus is a specific kind of parallelogram, so we would describe our shape as a rhombus because that's being more specific. Okay? Well, I hope you have good luck with the rest of the homework problems on tonight's homework, and I hope to see you again in Module 5 and in other episodes of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Thanks.